Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. I've been receiving a lot of questions from you guys out there asking about the Intel Core i7 CPU platform, especially questions like how well does it overclock, how stable is the overclock, as well as what kind of results can you get using that CPU in 3 Mark Vantage. So today we're going to run a quick Vantage benchmark using the Intel Core i7 965 Extreme CPU, an EVGA X58 motherboard, as well as three GTX 280s in three-way SLI. And here is the particular piece of equipment we're going to be benchmarking today, but let's open the case, let's have a quick peek inside and see what specific hardware we're going to be utilizing for this 3 Mark Vantage benchmark today. Okay, inside the case here you can clearly see the EVGA X58 motherboard. We have the Core i7-965 Extreme CPU as well as our GTX 280 graphics cards. Now the Core i7 Extreme CPU is cooled with a Coolance CPU 350 water block using 3.8 hoses and G-quarter threaded nozzles. Let's have a look at uh, the rest of the case there. Inside we have 12 gig of DDR3 memory and we have our three GTX 280 graphics cards water cooled with VID 428 water blocks. Those blocks do a phenomenal job of keeping those cards cool. Uh, so as we zoom in there, we will see exactly what temperatures we get off these cards during the benchmark. And for the first benchmark test today, we're going to be running the Core i7 and the graphics cards on stock, clock or standard settings. Now the one thing I do like about the 3 Mark Vantage benchmark tool is that it's quickly becoming an industry standard. It's a, it's a very competitive tool to use out there with all the scoreboards as well as being extremely consistent with its results. Whoa! 29,217 performance marks with 3D Mark Vantage and this is a standard clock set in straight out the box if you like. Absolutely phenomenal. And on task 2 we're going to leave the Intel Core i7 CPU on its standard clock set in of 3.2 GHz. We're going to overclock the graphics cards. We're going to ramp the core to 756 MHz, the shader to 1620 MHz and the memory to 1242 MHz. Let's see exactly what results we can get. Wow, look at the temperatures on those graphics cards. 44 degrees. These uh, water blocks, these VID428 water blocks are do, doing a phenomenal job. They're keeping those graphics cards well below 50. They, they're hardly breaking a sweat above 45 right now. So uh, these uh, water blocks are doing a fantastic job in keeping those graphics cards cool despite being overclocked from 602 to 756 megahertz core. Absolutely fantastic. But let's see exactly what results we get from overclocking these graphics cards with the Core i7 CPU. Whoa! We broke the 30,000 mark. 30,471 3D mark performance scores with, uh, with this setup simply by overclocking the graphics cards. Absolutely phenomenal! Let's have a look at test 3. Now test 3 we're going to overclock the Core i7-965 to 4.4 GHz and we're going to keep the uh, GPUs at exactly the same settings as previously 756 MHz core, 1620 shader and 1242 on the memory. So let's see exactly how this performs. Uh, but before we do these are just the settings that I used to ramp that uh, Extreme 965 CPU up to the 4.4 GHz clock. Whoa! Look at that! 33,396 3D Mark Vantage points! That's absolutely unbelievable! Whoa! What a result, guys! Over 30,000 3D Mark Vantage points. In fact, over 33,000 3D Mark 
vantage points. While the Core i7-965 Extreme CPU, the X58 motherboard and the GTX 280s make for an absolutely explosive combination. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Can't wait for the GTX 295s to come out. Let's see if they can better that result. Once again guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, if you want to stay up with the latest and greatest in extreme gaming hardware, feel free to subscribe.